all day at work. My notifications were just popping off. People messaging me about Remonster episode today, bro. You're gonna get banned if you react to this. Is it gonna be really that bad? Are people super upset? Is this the episode that's gonna cancel me and the anime? Only one way to find out. Let's begin today's reaction. That's right. Bro got big, right? Ogre time. Did he skip Hobgoblin or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One month after being born, he defeated the Lord of the North Forest, which was the red bear thing, right? And then we became an ogre. Were we not... Like a, what were we before this? He was already a Hobgoblin, right? It's just like their name was like Gobro still when other names were like Hob something. So I was like, I thought we we're just like still a goblin or some shit. But okay, okay. We were Hob. Now we're Ogre. Dude, our names gotta keep fucking change every time, man. But he's gonna keep Gobro. Dude, he's so much taller now. Also, what the fuck is going on with his left arm? It's the one that got cut off. Is it healing right now? I can't tell. Is, is he like healing that arm or is it like just poisoned and cut off? And what the fuck is going on there? You guys are fucking making jokes about the size of his new ogre dick, but... I mean... He could probably just... You know? He could... Get, you know? New clothes? <laughs> It's me, bro. It's me. Chill, chill. And go me jealous. How dare you look at those humans like that. Go me is here. I just want go me to have longer hair, bro. Go me. Ah, she's got that like tomboy look, you know. I just can we just throw that hair out. Go me. Come on. Can you evolve or something? Mm. Okay. What's cool on with his arm? Now, these girls, like, even last episode, right? Because, like, the controversial thing was we fucking kidnapped these girls. So, like, it's Stockholm Syndrome Riz. We're treating them well, but at the same time, are they just, like, so delusional that they're willing to just, like, stay here with, you know, Gobro instead of going back home because they've been here for so long? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go me and the red hair girl. The red hair girl, yeah, she was one of the other girls that was like highly contested for too, right? She's the one that got in bed with us, right? Are these twins? I just realized. <laughs> Go me and the red hair girl is still so angry. <laughs> to think they get used to this interaction with their mortal enemies, the goblins, so quickly. Stockholm Syndrome Riz? Is it working, guys? I think we brainwashed them perfectly and now they're willing to live with the here instead of going back to civilization. Hey, sure, bro. Sure. I mean, they did adapt. They adapted to their environment. Mine? Mine? And yeah, these girls are really cute. Poison for self-defense. Poison probably wouldn't even work on us. We're the good goblins. You can trust us. Oh, oh. That arm is... Again, it, it's, it's healing, right? I can't tell. Because before it was just one appendage. And now there's like two separate things. It looks like two fucking fingers here. <laughs> <laughs> From far away, they're not even in this room right now, are they? I can't tell. Alright. So, I mean, if today's episode is the one that people got pissed the fuck about, something has to go down with the ogre and these girls. Is he gonna have a fucking seven sum with them? Like, all six of them at the same time? Then again, this appendage, the arm, right? The, this, this, this slime power? Okay, so this is a slime kind of power. I thought his arm was cut off and it was kind of healing. It's like slowly healing. But it's some kind of slime powers that's been skipped over. All right. So my guess is if we only have one phallic object, why not just create six separate appendages and satisfy all six girls at the same time? But if we do that, people will get very mad. And then that's where the outrage is from? Is that what's going on today's episode? Where are we going with this? Oh no, random goblins, they're dying. Oh, they got punched by... Wait, 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 this was fucking training. And Gobro just 
just accidentally tap them and they're almost fucking dead. Oh, they're all bald. But the, the healing, the healing, we can also heal them. Even Gobukichi can't keep up. The power scaling, the gap just widened too much, man. Is Gobukichi gonna join us and ascend to ogre status? To Gobumi. Gobe is the other girl, yeah. <laughs> okay. New fucking slime hand. Okay, there it is. He ate the slime. The average 20 year old. Guys, so far the episode has been pretty wholesome. Where, where are we getting cancelled, man? When are we getting cancelled, man? Oh. Uh oh Car... Bon... What the fuck is that car bunkle? What? Does that... It's more skip shit? More skip shit. Car bunkle? What the fuck is a car bunkle, bro? Thing? Statue little thing? Digging a hole. Car bunkle. It's like... Beneath the ground and she was fucking shoveling with her shovel and it accidentally fucking hit that thing. While we were disheveling and now it's injured. That's what's happening here. Car bunkle. Interesting. New girl added to the harem? We're goblins. Explain to me what a carbuncle is! Litana. Okay. Holy fuck, we should kill her and take that- No, we shouldn't, we shouldn't. Hold up. Wiki says it's a legendary species, small animal in South American folklore, specifically in mining folklore of northern Chile. Interesting, and they did talk about how they were like shoveling and stuff like that. So, very rare earthy gem girl is what a carbuncle is. And that gem, 1 billion gold. That'd be fucked up if we were to keep her as like hostage, at like, a, like, a, like a reproducing cattle, right? And to just keep giving us offspring so we can harvest the fucking gems over and over and over. That's fucked up. That, how how would you guys why are you guys even thinking about that man you guys are fucked up tentacles on humans let's go tentacles on humans ダーナは大昔名を馳せた伝説の魔術師ベルベットが生んだ人造カーバンクルで <laughs> Litana is a famous legendary magician from a long time ago named Velvet who created an artificial carbuncle to administer their creator's secret treasures then or so I heard. What the fuck is going on? So carbuncle Litana. Litana was actually a magician named Velvet. But for whatever reason, her lifespan is short. That's why she said, I don't have much time. So Velvet, legendary male magician, some kind of treasure room. Holy shit, really? We're just becoming rich out of nowhere. The info dump there was a little hard to unpack, but basically short lifespan, Velvet exists. I kind of wish he would. I just wanted him to go on like a fucking rampage. Yo, we should fucking just like start pillaging human cities. I don't know. We don't. It's it's very rare we get to do shit like that. You know. I just want to be like the bad guys as goblins and fucking like you know. Imagine Goblin Slayer, but from the context of the goblins, man. <laughs> well, 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 well. Let's chill with that for a second. Let's chill with that for a second. With the enemy, we get canceled immediately. <laughs> but I'm sure he's gonna kill the humans in a good way, right? The only way that they're, they're gonna be able to make people like us, you know, uh, empathize with the goblin side is if the humans are absolute trash. So I'm sure there's gonna be a good reason for us to kill the humans. <laughs> Okay, now we got a fucking treasure room, bro. Wow, how the fuck did you just happen to find this shit? Yo, GoPro new drip? New drip, bro? Humans. Oh, here we go. That was fast. They actually look like fucking, like, random bandits. <laughs> did he just say, I'm not a random variant, I'm rare, you know? <laughs> yeah, they can't appreciate how long it took. Actually, it didn't take us too long to reach ogre status. <laughs> Come on, kill them all. Kill them all. What the fuck? Invisible guy? <laughs> this is <laughs> Look at him! Bro, 
I guarantee you, even in Naruto, the random fucking ninjas later on that are just like NPCs that are just a cannon fodder look better than this guy. What in the fuck is bro doing? Look at this ninja, bro. <laughs> we caught it though. You see that? Look, look at the finger catch. We caught the finger blade like this. Assassin's fading presence. Ouch. Yeah, they're terrible people. Terrible. Basically, laying down all the foundation, giving reasons as to why killing these humans is a good thing. Also, yeah, we can speak the human language fluently, huh? Really? You're gonna try to fight him after that? I'd run away! The magic item would make them not listen? The animation there was so bad. Oh! No, 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 no! Oh, no. oh he mad now! Pillage time. Don't off screen this. Let's go. Oh? What was that? Oh, we got backup. Okay, okay. Go Kichi, go me, go all here. This fucking weapon again. Like, I, I'm just underestimating the size. There's got to be something special about this knife, right? They made a clear deal about how this could be the difference of making it or not. But it's just a tiny knife. What could this be, really? Does it get huge? Oh, I know it's a spirit stone knife, but like it looks so tiny and small. It looks like a fucking anim like a vegetable paring knife. Different jobs. In a bag. 99 items, each of it's 200 fucking slots. Okay, we got a huge inventory. Invisibility ring, cool. Where status information also gets hidden. But if he eats the gear, will he be able to store it himself? Because this is a pretty important bag we just got. But if you eat it, will you then be able to store shit yourself? Of course, of course, of course, of course. I am blushing! Alright. Basically an infinite storage, yeah? Yeah, we should go cremate that. I thought he was gonna fucking eat the fucking corpse, bro. Damn! This fucking ogre just fucking invaded his private treasure room, took all- They killed the humans, took all the fucking treasures, then burned the guy, man. It's these fucking goblins. These ogres are fucked in the head. No, no, no. This is all consensual. He's already dead. This is cremation. He would have wanted this, right? What got left behind? Oh. Oh! A gauntlet?! What? Spell Blast. Legendary class Arm Blast. I don't need it anymore, says Velvet, so I'll give it to you. We got a legendary class Arm Blast artifact. Just... But we're trying to blast the girls right now. Is this gonna help with the blasting? Anyways, it's got some self evolution attribute echo. It looks cool. Sounds good to me, boss. She's the blacksmith girl. Okay. The, 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 holy fuck, dude. Every, everything is just fucking just... It's okay, they're 38. Got blacksmith. And the next day, 39. What? I personally took for myself the Vermilion Spear. Kazuklu Bay. Cool. Including Eric. I don't even know what the fuck that is, but we got three legendary class artifacts. Oh, it, it, it's the Arm Blast one, right? It's the Arm Blast Gauntlet. Okay, we got a tier of the item rank chart. Inferior, normal, rare, unique, legendary, and above that, Phantasm. Damn, Phantasm like. And apparently, you can run an entire country with just one of them. And we got fucking three of them. Well, do you mean legendary tier artifacts? Yes, legendary is. And if you even have a single legendary artifact, you can run an entire fucking country. Imagine what a phantasm level is, though. The fuck could you rule the world? <laughs> Alright, we're, we're powering everyone up. Huh? 
序列決定戦を開催し Tournament time! Tournament time! レベルがいのも面白そうだ Day 41! Skip the tournament! そうそう俺は単身 Holy fuck, it's just going so fast. I guess it's not that important these days, like the blacksmithing part of the. It's just like simple information, right? Like, do we need to spend a lot of time? I don't know. I haven't read the light novel, but right now, it's like going. Go, 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 go! He's got gold and silver. 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 Oh, basically, we just got a power up, right? Because, like, before we had the random spider webs, now it's like golden spider webs. Better. Oh, that thing got four eyes. Okay. Where are we going? What what's going on? Trainee. Dryads. But way looter. Okay. Okay, where are we going with this? Are there, are there gonna be more dryads? Does she have sisters? Does she have sisters? No nipples today. Oh, more things! No sisters. No, no, no nipples though, right? No nipples. We can watch. We don't have to go to kick right now, right? If I, if I, if I, if I see a single nipple, I will just end the stream. Dryads. Okay. They okay, according to Goji, they, the dryads tempt males from other intelligent species. Yo, I thought like, uh... Dryads are like the protectors of the fucking forest and you know Tensura, but in this show, they're just fucking succubuses. There are only females among the dryads. So every dryad has a beautiful appearance. That doesn't really make sense, but I get you. Okay, why not just let them be all hot? Oh my god, she is just fucking draining them up. Male, which often leads males to be unable to hold back after looking at <laughs> okay, so uh, is Gobro gonna be able to contain his down badness, or are we just gonna fucking just go in and go pound town on ten dryads at once? Should we should have brought Gobji with us, man? So here's my guess: if this guy is gonna be a supposed to giga chat, seems like nothing, you know, flusters him. If the role of the dryad is to suck the fucking dudes and just make them just dry as fuck and just toss them aside. Maybe Goburo will do the opposite, where he has so much pipe, he has so much stamina, that the dryads get, they're like, ENOUGH! HOLY SHIT! ENOUGH OF GOBLIN DICK! THIS IS WAY TOO MUCH! As if your strength is flowing inside of me, who the fuck is playing the saxophone? Who the fuck is playing the saxophone? You, you wanna talk? What are we talking about, boing? He <laughs> said you wanted to talk! You're just going gawk gawk on him already! Okay. Okay, so he was a virgin back in the day. Well, Isekai main character being virgin, what a surprise! What a surprise! <laughs> Yeah. What? That's the belly button, right? Is that his dick? Wait, is this new ogre dick? What's going on here? Wait! <laughs> it's called Lipito! His skill's called Lipito! Yo, teach Rudy this in fucking season 2 part 1 before we got to Sylvie! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> Dude, you can see it. It's the part where it's illuminating. His dick is glowing. His dick is good. It's not just a spider web. He got a golden goblin dick. Please dig in. <laughs> Five hours. <laughs> <laughs> no nipples! No nipples! I don't get banned! Gobra received. Dryad's blessing. So this is the reason why you motherfuckers wanted me to watch this episode so badly today. You fucking down bad motherfuckers. Honestly, the Levi the ultimate magic Levi does pretty fucking funny. His dick started fucking glowing gold. He went super lame. Yeah? It's my feel like it. We need to bring Gobji here, man. Gobji's gonna die soon. We gotta bring Gobji to get him one last good time before he goes out. I can't believe his dick was fucking glowing gold.
It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Who is this? What the what what is happening? Oh, oh he's washing himself. I thought I thought it was other fucking girls. Never I don't want I don't want these dudes. Ew! Get out of here! Ew! <laughs> so quick. Wait, 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 you didn't even eat it! I guess we skipped the eating part. Unless there's this new thing about this artifact where if we kill with it, then we can get the skills. I thought that you had to fucking eat it? Didn't we have to eat it? Ability. Aquatic learned. Aquatic life. Lizardman language. Meaning, uh, lizard woman. We can riz up lizard women now, right? What in the fuck? <laughs> Okay, day 42, day 42. Niggobu,ね、しができて本当に嬉しいですよ。これから3つに気を引くして。ゴベイザ。物質に干渉する能力である。カジシさんのところです。え、スタウェポンゲン。Cuz do they sense that we use our golden dick on the dryad? Wait, the girls are jealous. What's going on? No, no, no. I know what they're mad about, but who fucking told them? Who fucking told them? Oh. The red haired girl is so pouty. Okay, that says poison food now. Who the fuck snitched? Well, we were fucking the dryads for five hours. Is there anything that could have led to them knowing? What kind of magic? Was someone spying? Were we traced? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the dryad came over. Did the dryad come over? No, dryad has to live in the fucking tree. You think maybe Gobji leaked it? But Gobji didn't know we went there, right? Gobji just knows of the dryads. Realize what? Can they smell him in heat? Hold the fuck up. The, no way, it's the fucking pillar of light shined by the fucking golden goblin dick magic. Ain't no way they saw fucking goblin golden dick magic light piercing through the heavens. They're like, oh yeah, there he is. Gobro's fucking a dryad. No shot. So maybe it's like Mushoku Tensei. You know how the uh, the girls, the linea and persona, they could smell. They're like, oh, you're in heat. Your dick's working again. So maybe it's something like that. How do they know? How did you know, though? Who told them? <laughs> Wait, did he actually? Did we see his neck yet? He's, it's covered, but he has a bunch of hickeys. He has a bunch of hickeys, that's it? <laughs> she getting a fast one. Oh, sh oh, return the favor! Return the favor! Get out of here, Gobmi! <laughs> Do the same thing to me, too. Ultimate skill, leave me the. <laughs> me too, me too. Yeah, do it to me too. <laughs> Nothing like kidnapping a bunch of human girls, grooming them, making them feel like they belong here, and then suddenly taking advantage of them. Mm -mm -mm. We are definitely getting fucking cancelled. <laughs> Which is the best human girl? I don't know, honestly. Mm, if only this girl right over here, the alchemist girl, had no glasses, I'd go for her. But so far, of them, mm, the red hair girl's really cute. I like the red hair girl. She's cute. I, I, she's, she's funny. The blondes are probably better objectively looking, but like, the red hair girl, I, I like the way she pouts. She, she's very cute. She's been very pouty today. The blacksmith girl's a little bland. Are we gonna see this animated? Are we gonna see this animated? What do you mean? You gotta show it! What happens after that? I'd rather not talk about it. What did you do? What did you do? Fucking seven slime dicks with your fucking hand and then splice them all at the same time? Gold silk manipulation. Atmosphere. Manipulation. Form changing. 
manipulating self body fluid properties, essential body blood flow, enhanced penetration, triple thrust, endurance. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm not gonna let this emoting play for too long. We're gonna get fucking limited ads on this video. Oh, Gopkichi! And Gopkichi's looking at a bunch of gold sparkles. Is Gopkichi getting cucked right now? Well, Gobei isn't there. The like, Gopkichi is not getting cucked. Gobei is probably. Gop Gopkichi's probably like, Gobro, you a fucking pimp, bro. Thread control seal, soundproof function. You can't go in there, Kichi. <laughs> oh, it felt so good, yeah. Oh, we're gonna get some fucking goblin kids next episode. And that's the episode. And here, this is a dryad in the ending. And Gobji, the dryad was always there. The dryad was already hinted in the fucking ending, bro. Holy shit, dude. And Gobji was looking at the dryad. Today's episode was uh, pretty down bad. The first half, extremely fucking rushed. But then again, is it that important to cover all those fleshed out details? I'm not so sure. Until I know what the light novel is, maybe it was like trivial, not important stuff that we were trying to just like rough. Like, it just basically just like rushed through. So maybe it's fine. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. The second half. We're gushing over dryads, and then the girls are fucking gushing over, you know, Gobro. But at the end of the day, we kidnap all these girls and made them come over here. But they're they're here by consent. They want to stay here. Maybe it's Stockholm Syndrome. Maybe it's not. Are we going to get canceled? Uh-oh. We're going to get canceled again. It's fine. We're going to get canceled the episode after. I'm sure this is not the final Remonster episode. That's going to be, you know, touching on these type of... <laughs> You know, themes, because a couple of babies are going to fucking pop out pretty soon. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.